hello friends welcome back to my channel today this video not gonna be a tutorial video it's about project for beginners using html and javascript so today we are going to create a calculator using both the languages i have taken reference of windows 7 calculator so we are going to develop somewhere to it in this calculator we will do our basics calculation like add subtract multiply etc so let's start I'm going to use Eclipse IDE to create this project because Eclipse provides great support to HTML, JavaScript and CSS. So now I'm creating the project as dynamic web project and calculator I'm naming it and finish. Now I'm going to create a HTML file and I'm naming it as index. So this file will be in web content folder as index.html. Now we have HTML tags in our HTML file. Now I'm going to update this title as calculator. So this title will go on our Chrome tab like I'll show you how and where. So I'm opening my Chrome. So where we are getting loading, the title tag will show like this is here. Sorry. Yeah, so Windows 7 calculator is like this. So we are going to somewhere it. Now let's see how many rows we need to create and how many column we need to create. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have five columns and six rows. So I'm going to create table here. So the table. Now, first I'm going to create a complete row like this. And now for column, we need to give TD tag. So here we have TD tag. And in this TD, I'm going to create buttons so we have input tag and now I am going to give type as button value will see id then name ok so we for now we can ignore it so we have button value and id yes so okay so as we have calculated we need five columns in each row so two three four and five so this is it now i need to create five more rows two three four five six sorry uh, only five rows so now we have six rows one two three four five Okay, so this is sixth row. Now we, we got the six rows and five columns. Now I'm going to give value to each button. So in first row, we have MC, MR, MS, M plus and M minus. So uh, in first row, I'm going to give value as MC, MR, MS, M plus and M minus. Now we have this arrow key. So I'm going it as like this and C E C plus minus square root and I'm taking it as SQR. Now in next row we have seven eight nine. 7, 8, 9, divide, then percentage, okay, so in next row we have 4, 5, 6, okay, then multiply sign, then percentage, sorry, not percentage, it is 1 by x, 1 by x, okay, then we have 1, 2, 3, 
one two three then minus and we have equals to okay so uh, for this equals to it is starting from the sixth row not from the fifth row so we can ignore this button and we can come to the last row and we can give zero decimal plus and then equals to okay so now i am deleting this one and this one so we don't need okay control shift f to align all the code now this zero taking space of two buttons so for this we need to use call span for the column so i'm going to use call span attribute as two and two for this equals to button it is containing the space of two rows so for that i need to use row span so i'm going to use row span here row span as two yeah so we are done with the design of buttons but not this part where we, we are going to see uh, the numbers so let's see first i'm going to run this project and let's see where we are in the design part so i'm going to run it as on server so it's done yeah here so it's running okay so this is our html code looks like now i'm going to open it on chrome so here it is now we need to design it as it will see good so for that we have css so i am closing it now i am going to create a css file so for that uh, sorry i need to create css and uh, we are going to click on other search for css file next and i am naming it as style so here we have style css now i want to just keep the table in center of the page okay so for that i am going to develop the css so now i am going to code for that center so table and i'm giving margin from left as auto and uh, margin from right also as auto and save this now we need to import this css file for that in header scope we are going to give link then we have attribute ariel as style sheet style sheet and type as text sorry i'll use it as type as text css and my file link is href and it is as style dot css now let's refresh our page and we got the table in center of the page now again going to css and i am going to style the buttons also so for that we have input type button with 
as 50 px and height also 50 px and now let's refresh it again so here we are getting all the buttons now for these equals to and zero let's see what we can do we are going to style these buttons individually so i'm going to use style tag and width is 104 px and same for the plus button in this case we need to use height because it is vertical so let's see yeah okay so zero is okay but for equals to let's see what is going wrong okay sorry my mistake so this button will be in the fifth row so i am removing it from here putting it here so here we got the equals to button also now we need to create this text part where we are going to have the digits so for that again i need to create rows so tr for row and td for column so for that we only need one column uh, so guys uh, I'm just changing the design like I will have three rows where we will have uh, input tag and type will be as text I'm giving ID also so copy it and paste in each column of the first three rows so let's refresh our page and yeah here we got the three text boxes so as here the our design has been changed so for that we need to use sorry not here in the td tag all span as 5 so I am going to copy it and pasting it here and here yeah so again I am refreshing it so we got the design and I am going to make them as read only and copying it in all the text boxes yeah. now I'm going to use CSS and for import type text width will be as 100% so I'm refreshing it and we got the design as normal and these are read only also we can't type here now so our design is ready as in this picture we are not going to create these menus we are just developing a normal calculator now i am going to remove the borders so for that border none and i am going to refresh it again so it would be like this so now our calculator design is ready so friends in this video we got the HTML and CSS that how we can create the design of a calculator in next video we will learn how we can use JavaScript for our calculations if you like this video please like and share comment below if you want to ask anything related to this and please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.